Camp York, Kings Mountain State Park. It's a big place. It was for like the youth and church groups. I'm not sure who actually ran it, but it is a big place back here. It's been pretty neglected over the years. Normally, the gate's locked. But I was actually lucky enough to get through the gate here. The gate was open, so go down doing some work today. Day being a weekday, but uh, you can see his old sheds down here. And you can walk down here with the gates locked. We walked down here years ago. I'm actually going, uh, not years ago, last year this time. I'm actually going to clip some of that footage in here that I have up down in the lower level. But I didn't have any upper levels, so I never put a video together on it. So we'll add that in here too. But there's kind of some up here got the road, they got parking, dumpsters down here still. And way up the hill up here, they even got more little one bedroom cabins. I mean, boy, you have a pile of people down here. So this is Camp York. On Lake York down here, the lake is through the woods down here. There's a big fishing area, big dock, and all that. Um, it's a little road right here that runs down there to it. I may come back and try to get some of that. If not, I got I got uh, some old footage. Well, again, this is old footage here from a year prior to the first of this recording. Um, basically, we did a walk through. We walked all the way from the gate because it was locked all the way down in here to fish, just to kind of fish around the lake. Had no idea this place is back here um, or none of the stuff we've seen. So I recorded the upper deck at the same time I recorded this, but I lost that footage. I also lost the audio off of this. So I wanted to talk over it. But you can see all the little cabins that they had there for the Boy Scouts youth or church groups, whatever they use them for. I talked to one of the rangers that was there during this time period, this was real active. And he said most of the time it was um, a church group that ran it. Um, but they had little twin beds and stuff inside of them. And you see people been driving down there still. I mean, it's, it was active, just not being used. We walked all around, it's kind of peeking in some of the windows. A bunch of the windows are broke out and stuff, unfortunately. But you can see one of the camp master's homes we walk up to, it's a pretty double nice place, you know, big stone structure. So they really spent some money on that. I don't know if the state parks did that or if it was actually a private organization spent the money on it just to be a part of the grounds. I don't know. But you can see it ahead of me here now. Pretty big place. But they just put that dock in. That's why I included those pictures at the beginning of this. That dock was brand new a year ago. So I mean, they're still spending money down there. It's a brand new dock and the, fish, and the uh, swimming area was newly roped off. Um, so... They definitely were spending money on it still at that time. See the big stone steps I was talking about here? They even have an outdoor grill and all. I mean, that's a pretty nice place there. There's 158 on the door. I don't know if that has any meaning at all or something. I just put that on there. Thank y'all for watching. 